Hello and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest in which we are learning how to program the ST8 microcontrollers using the Visual Studio and Cosmic C compiler. So this is a fourth tutorial and as you can see here we have interfaced a 16 cross 2 LCD with our STM8 test microcontroller board. Now let's dive straight into it. I'll tell you the uh, I'll discuss the circuit diagram as well as the code. So let me have the circuit diagram on the side. As you can see, the circuit is pretty simple. Uh, we have just interfaced our uh, ST Link programmer to program our module, and uh, we have connected the LCD in four bit mode. As you can see, out of the eight data bits, we have only used the last four. And this resistor here is used as a current limiting resistor for the backlight LED. And this potentiometer here is used to power the uh, it is used to provide a variable voltage to the contrast pin. Now the LCD is operating on 5 volts and the board itself is operating on 3.3 volts. If you see here, I have powered it using a mobile adapter which is providing 5 volts. From our 5 volt pin, the LCD is powered and the controller itself is operating on 5 volts currently. So I have not used the programmer here but if you have followed our previous tutorial you would know that we have been using this ST link programmer so what you have to do is you have to connect this ST link programmer over here to upload the code now if you are completely new you can go to our getting started tutorial where we have discussed about uh, how to program this how to install the ID and all those uh, in our previous tutorial we have also learned how to use the GPIO functionalities and also how to use serial monitor functions on STM 8s so that being said uh, let's get into the program this is our main program now again here if you see i have included a lot of source files and header files uh, i have linked all these source and header files in the link given in the description of this video but basically when you start a project there won't be any source files or header files just make sure you include all these header files uh, i'll also show the github repo if you get into stmeters 103 F3 SPL of Circuit Digest, you will see a folder called INC which has all the header files and a folder ca called SRC which has all the C code and the STM 8s libraries have two libraries so far, one is for serial communication and the other is for LCD uh, interfacing. So if you see our programming environment here, Inside the header files, I have added the STM8S and uh, LCD header file and the other header files as well. Now, as far as the program is considered, it is very simple. You just have to declare to which pins we have connected the RS, enable and other data pins. So let me have the program on side and open the circuit diagram again. And as you can see, we have connected the RS pin to PA1 that is uh, GPIO port A and pin number 1 and as you can see we have mentioned that LCD RS is connected to GPIO A and pin number 1 similarly enable is connected to A2 and D4 to D7 which is here D4 to D7 is connected to D1 D2 D3 and D4 of so similarly here you can see port D1234 so once we have defined the pins everything else is pretty simple all the complex code goes inside this header file so this is the header file if you want to take a quick look i'll also show that so this is the header file which you can find on the github link or also the link that's given in the description so it consists of many uh, uh many functions which you can directly use in your code I will not be explaining how each of these functions work but few important things is LCD begin, LCD clear, LCD set cursor, LCD print character and LCD print string. So all these functions have been defined here, we will be using this in our program, I will show you how it is used. Now if you go to the programming section and get into the main C file, you can see we have initialized a variable called test variable to zero and then lcd.begin will initialize all the gpio pins and it will also set the lcd in 16 cross 2 mode and lcd clear will clear the screen and then once the screen is cleared we will be setting the cursor to 1 comma 1 so what that means is that 
okay so here is our lcd so this particular place here this is called one comma one and this will be called one comma two this will be one comma three likewise and this will be called as two comma one so out of these 16 cross two uh the lcd dot set cursor can be used to place the cursor at the required place as you can see here we have placed the cursor at one comma one and have written stm 8 s 103 f3 p3 uh, LCD you don't see this now but you will see it if I reset the module you will see that that text displays and it stays there for 5 seconds and then it clears the whole LCD and then writes circuit digest and then the test variable gets incremented so same thing so once we have written this we will wait for 5 milliseconds and then we will clear the LCD again and then set the cursor to 1 comma 1 again and write circuit digest and then move the cursor to 2 comma 1 and then write test inside the while loop what we will do is we will split this test variable whatever is inside the test variable we will split it into characters because we only have a function to print characters but not to print an integer value directly so what we will do is that we will take this integer value and use the modulus and divide operations to split it into four different characters for example right now the test value is 0, 0, 4, 7. so 0 will be stored in d1 this another 0 will be stored in d2 this uh, d3 will have 5 and d4 will currently have 6 so we'll split it into four characters and save it into respective variables and this is used to convert the ascii character to a real character so that it can be displayed on lcd we'll just add 0 to whatever value we have got now moving on we have set the cursor to 2 comma 6 so that the cursor should come here so uh, we already have test colon so what happens is that test will be 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 will be the colon and then we start writing at 2 comma 6 so we have set the cursor at 2 comma 6 and have written d1 d2 3 3 d4 now when we write d1 our cursor will automatically get incremented to 2 comma 7 so we don't have to mention the cursor position every single time and then we wait for one second which is 1000 milliseconds and then increment the variable and then the whole loop repeats again so that's why you see the test variable is getting incremented so that is it the circuit the code everything is pretty simple all the complex job is done on the header file hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching bye bye